Effective and affordable health care needs of the citizen have been primary concerns of policy makers across the globe, with efforts always geared towards improving its delivery to meet the challenges of increasing populations. Uncontrolled population growth, especially in underdeveloped and developing world, has often exacted so much pressure on meeting the health needs of growing populations across the world. There is a consensus of opinion that the healthcare facilities and infrastructure have become inadequate for the people. Population control remains a key way in which development is sustainable so that the population does not outuse available resources. When you look at what the goals for policymakers are, and that is to ensure that the economy of the countries where they reside in develops and does well. One of the key ways in which you would assess development for any uh, country is health. Health is the key indicator to assess development. And if you look at the sustainable development goal, almost all aspects are directly or indirectly related to health. So I think that if as a people we take development serious, we take um, our country to progress serious, we take the fact that we want our people to do well serious, then our health must be the key factor. The stratification of the Nigerian healthcare system under the primary, secondary and tertiary health institution has been with a view to bring in health, delivery and accessibility to the people in line with global best practices. In River State, there is evidence of renewed commitments by the government and healthcare practitioners to confront the health challenges of the citizens, especially the spread and prevalence of most common ailments like hypertension and diabetes, which have been on the increase in the recent times. Practitioners have deduced this to several reasons, including the condition and lifestyle of the people themselves. The House of Assembly may have heard that they considered a bill, a bill on the contributory health scheme for the state. One thing that is making, that is affecting the health of Nigerians is out-of-pocket payments. Once we are able to fix out-of-pocket payments, a good number of our people will get treated because they have already paid, uh, paid by way of basic, by way of insurance. The quality also is important. Uh, why? Because, and that's why, that's the good thing about the upgrade. If you upgrade an institution, that means you will also equip it and it makes for quality. And ever since this hospital was upgraded, the teaching hospital started, the patronage increase because we have now better equipment are being bought for the hospital. Service is improving for the better, and that's in the interest of our patients and our people. People modifying their lifestyles, which has good bearing in terms of hypertension and uh, diabetes, is also important. So health education, which the primary health care is handling, and in River State, that is, they are doing very well in terms of health education. For us as a tertiary facility, it means what we, will be, we are ideally supposed to be receiving will be complex cases. People that have complications of diabetes, and I can assure you, we see them. It's, I had new problem I, uh, that, that made me restless for a whole night. So I was rushed to a hospital here. That was uh, in 2016, you know. So since then, I've been on my medication after I was diagnosed. A week ago, out of my, I don't know, I will say I, my careless lifestyle, I took something and it shoot up. In fact, DM is one of the leading causes of non-traumatic foot amputation worldwide. So it has enormous burden on our health sector. So if they do a lot of education in the society, they do a lot of awareness, a lot of screening. Like tell patients with DM, once you have a wound, you should come to the hospital. And with the media supporting us, I know we can go far. Actually, it was discovered when I was pregnant. It's G, they call it GDM. My second pregnancy. They noticed that I had diabetes in pregnancy. They managed me all through with insulin. As they're managing me with insulin, they're also giving me diet to take so that the baby will survive. So at the end of the nine months, my baby actually survived. 
I'm doing well because my sugar level is getting lower. Our women should take antenatal care. That's the most important thing. At antenatal care, they will discover whether you are GDM or not. Okay, I started about last year when I went for eye surgery. And uh, in the process, I find out that I was passing more urine than necessary. Since I was diagnosed, um, I've been coming regularly and I've been taking my drugs too. I think there's an improvement. The recent River State Government policy on health care service delivery and provision of standard facilities together with awareness campaign by the media and health practitioners in the state have boosted the hope of proper health care service delivery and its impact on the people through affordable and effective services.